Hello, and welcome to Greedfall. We have plenty of things to do. First and foremost, let's get out of here. And we do need a... Hmm. Quest, let's see. Go to the village indicated by Petrus. Talk to Father Insunius. Lustinius? Genius? I don't know. Just talk to him. I'm sure he will have something of interest. Hello. I have no idea what you were doing there. So, what have we got here? Old leather cape. Cool. Ah, okay. And let's see, if we go this way... Hello, little box. I see that you have something in you. A bit of ammo, a bit of everything, really. Let's hope one of you drops ammo, otherwise I would have wasted a bullet. No? Nope. Yes. So it was worth it. Excellent. How far is the exit? Not very far. We have a couple of camps. It's all gonna be good. San Matthias. It's a wonderful place if you like fanatics and God. I mean, okay. Just stand there. That's a great idea. Oh, look, more ammo. My dear child, what can I do for you? I was actually rather hoping that you would have a quest for me. I will see you later, father. Take care, my... There are a couple of berries here. Let's take them and continue onwards. Seriously, guys? Why so many bandits all of a sudden? Was that the last of them? Hilarious. Okay, how close are we to the next location? Hello, sir. Do you want to speak with us? It doesn't seem like it. So, I'm not gonna talk to you. The Eastern Outpost. I honestly have no idea how far this guy is. So we need to go here. And 
and speak with Father Insinius. Yeah, that's how we are gonna go in from this point on. Hello, good merchant. Do you have anything interesting to sell me? Ooh, that's fancy. Commander's Coward Sailor Coat. Is that the same thing you're having right now? I thought yours was red, actually. Yeah, that's exactly what you're wearing right now, except that you have a shoulder pad. We have a nice hat for you. Ooh, that looks good on you. What is it? Letter tricard. It will make you more resilient to magic, elements, and weaker to poison. And what does that do? Grandier Officer's Turban. Well, the hat will fit him quite well, in fact. Should I purchase it for him? The Marquis's Rapier. That's a wonderful weapon. It's actually better than my current weapon. Fear regeneration will go down. Hmm. I could purchase it for Vasco, in fact. It has already upgraded a little. For 500. Quite expensive, honestly. Yes, yeah, sir. Do you have anything I want to purchase for you? No, not really. Fine then. We'll just move on. Tear Dob Barracks. Don't remember this place, so I've been here. Never. Quite interesting. Really, the armor. Simple. Okay, there are contracts here. Let's go and see what they have for us. I definitely need to find a way to complete these missions. Oh, bears. Sorry, no, those are not bears. Seems like it's pretty easy now to just pierce through your armor. Hmm. I like how powerful I've become. So, what are the quests? Place. It is the village of Eden the Cardinal Mother told you about. The place where natives and priests live together. I must admit that I'm curious to see it. All that's left to do is find Father Eustinius. So it is Eustinius. A boot of the better nature of travelers on the Velvet Road. My brother decided to explore it and never return. If any of you were to find his body, please dig a grave for him so that he may rest in peace. He must still have his coin purse on him. I would be happy to leave it to you as a reward. Very aggressive Yorglans have built a nest north of Eden, 
Be cautious if you need to follow the road to the northeast or go into the bushes. A reward will be offered to whoever destroys the nest. We can supply you with traps. So are you gonna give us the chaps before we go there or after we return? Hmm. And what is this place? Hello. Hello. I am Ler, the village leader. Well, Oh, he was the leader of this village. Hello. De Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. There are Onol Manawi among the Logaid Blau. Oh, he did not know that. What do you want from me? <laughs> Nothing, apparently. I have to go. Like so many others. Wow, well, this guy must be pretty lonely. Tracker's tunic. Well, definitely something I'm gonna sell at some point. I need to purchase a bear gun. There is a camp area here. Let's explore it. It's right outside the walls, apparently. Let's set you up. One out of three. Well, it's gonna take some time, but we are gonna explore this entire map. Go ahead, run. Yes, I know. Honestly, Basco, I don't think that blade works for you anymore. Maybe it's because of the guy's magic. Nice. Well done. Beast's essence, not bad. Oh, look at that. A chest. Elegant Tricone. If you need another one, I have it for you. Another camp area right here. Let's go explore. I'm sure we can find something to do on the way. Two out of three. Okay, let's turn around. Yes, I know. Let's take a look at this path. Maybe it will lead us to some magnificent prize or some magnificent beast that we can mount on our wall. Truly, who can say, right? Okay, no beasts here. Nothing I can do here. This is so sad, honestly. I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting. Maybe a chest. Oh, so there is an invisible wall here. What a wonderful decision. Okay. 
That's cool and all, but there is nothing in here. Not even a chest. I guess we are gonna have to return here at some point. This is gonna be kind of a problem in this. If I have to go back here, because I wasn't supposed to reach this place yet. Anyway. Should we continue on here? And what is this? I actually don't know. Is this the shore? That tree is massive. Look at that. Swampy area. Perfect. I was wondering what this area is. It's swampy. Um, what are you? Oh my god, not only are you incredibly strong, you're also poisonous. For a moment there, I thought this is the guy we are supposed to bury. Silly me for thinking that, though you should know that I was quite confused. I mean, it's a body in the middle of nowhere. So it ends. Well, yeah, it ends. Oh, I was hoping to stab him. I need a little bit of adrenaline back. Ah, oh, well, maybe next time. So, is there anything here we can loot? Just the animals, apparently. Oh, there is a chest. Of course there is. An ancient straight saber. What's the point of this thing? I mean, I guess we can sell it for a minuscule price, but still. So, where do you lead? Red Vale. The tall trees we burned there. The heart's gate. Yeah, keep on going this way. Go to the village indicated by Petrus. And another body. This time there are no beasts nearby, so I have no idea what he died from. Aren't you pretending to be strong? Well done, you two. I'm sure we'll become better friends as time goes on. And also, he has one of the strongest weapons, this guy. It's a ring that I don't remember where I found. But I am keeping it. It works good on him. Okay, beastie. Ah! 
Nice shot. Ow. Never stood a chance. It was almost too easy. No, it was too easy. Okay, we can go this way. Will be. Why so upset about my armor being gone? I don't know what you're doing, but stop it. See? Told you. Easy. Very well. Let's march on. There is something over there. I bet it's some kind of a bush. Yep. There are berries on it. Cool. And there is a shrine. Let's go there and pick that skill, whatever it is. Hmm. Okay, here we are. Activated. Again, not guarded by anything. So the first one that we found was guarded, and I guess that was a coincidence because the rest of them are not. Somewhat disappointing, honestly. Hey, who am I to judge, right? It's not like the enemies are a big challenge anyway. Can't go this way. Later, I guess. Honestly, this game is just like Dragon Age Inquisition. Except, you know, the fighting system is better. Let's head this way. See if we can find anything to loot. It honestly doesn't seem like it. Can I go here? No. Hello? No. Okay, I thought there was something in here. Seems like there is someone we can speak with, not far away. Let's go and do that, shall we? Ah! Oh, you are from the continent, are you not? You are different than the people from here. Delighted to see you again, Sister Ephesia. Father Petrus, is that really you? What are you doing here? Merely a courtesy call. How might I help you? This guy is really very charismatic. Maybe it's his voice. Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps. Although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? How has your mission fared up until now, sister? Not very well, I'm afraid. I haven't been able to get much from these villagers. Their chief and their... priest are evasive when questioned. As for the other natives, their behavior can be quite odd. They'll spend hours just staring into the void. But as soon as I come close, they chase me away. They frighten me, I must admit. There is a heavy veil of evil here. I feel it, 
but I'm not able to find from whence it comes. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. Anything else? No, that's good. No. That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Oh, a camp area. And it's very close by. Okay, next. I guess you want me to convert these villagers. Well, that's gonna happen later. First, I'm gonna go back there and talk to this priest. Justinius. Okay, I'm kind of disappointed that I can't attack immediately. But whatever. It's not a big deal, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Okay, we're not very far from where I need to be. Travel. Okay, apparently I am quite far from where I need to be. So where do you lead? I see. The missionaries are fine. I'm betting that the final boss of the game will be there in that volcano or something like that. I mean, it's pretty obvious that something important is going on there. Oh, come on! It seems like there's one more there. Thank you. Okay, let's loot that and go this way. My health and armor is regenerated. Okay. Fortune would have it, he died. Thank you, Vasco, and I keep forgetting your name. It was something with P. Petrus. Right. Okay. Let's keep on moving. Well, we can speak with Vasco again if we want to. I don't think he has a mission for us, though. Glad to see you, my friend. Can I do anything for you? No. I must leave you. Right. Let's keep on moving. I do need to speak with the... I forgot his name. Justinian? Justinius, okay.
He's right there. Let's go speak with him. I'm sure he'll be delighted to see us. Welcome to Eden, the lighthouse of faith, harmony, and civilization in these wild lands. Thank you. Desade. I am the legate of the merchant congregation. And I am Father Justinius. Delighted. And what may I do for you? Okay, let's ask him about the stolen tablets. The Mother Cardinal has asked me to investigate the theft of these tablets you discovered. That's excellent news. The loss of the tablets is a catastrophe. We have to find them at all costs. If you want to learn more about these tablets, you should go ask Sister Eugenia. She supervises the theologians who discovered them and were also guarding them. You should find her a bit further in the village with her colleagues. Who are the suspects of this theft? The heretical brutes of the village of Vedlug most likely had a hand in this. They must have wanted to please the demons they worship by stealing the holy word from us. How could they have learned of the tablet's existence? Uh, perhaps the demons are giving them this power. Unless one of the natives living in the village innocently mentioned them. They are so naive. Either way, I am certain that the heretics are involved in this matter. Okay, let's go speak with I whoever. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. I wonder what really happened when the missionaries came to settle here. It all seems a bit too convenient. If we find out some information about the history of Eden, maybe we'll change our view on things. The theft of the relic is probably not a coincidence. Probably it's one of those heretics that is trying to prove something. We can learn about the story of Eden. Should we speak with you again? Father. I'm glad to see you, my child. What can I do for you? Tell me about how you created this village. We did not create it from the ground up. It was built around an existing native village. The islanders called it Vigsenegad, which translates to the village of the old sage. Huh. We saw it as a sign. The natives had probably chosen this name in memory of St. Matthias, and everything here fit the description of St. Lucius. The discovery of the tablets proved us right. So we decided to rebuild our Eden here, in the spirit of peace and harmony which is described in the scriptures. Well, I'm sure you're kind of deluded, but it doesn't matter. Why share this village with the natives? To replicate and resume the work of our founder, of course. If he came here and managed to convert the natives, then it is our duty to do the same thing. By living side by side with them, it is much easier for us to pass on our teachings. Okay, let's talk about the natives living in the village. What relations do you have with them? How well do you get along with the natives who live here? Uh, very well, of course. Especially since those who opposed our presence left. Left? To go where? Oh, to other villages, I imagine. Does it even matter? Those who stayed are on the path of enlightenment. Some of their legends must have been about St. Matthias. That helped to convince them. Hmm. <laughs> and how well have neighboring villagers welcomed you? With some reluctance, to be perfectly honest. So, we sent them missionaries. There are still frequent conflicts with the village of Vedlug, a highly violent village of heretics. But the other villages, the more peaceful ones, are slowly starting to listen to the sacred word. There is something strange here. It often takes time for the people of the continent to get used to our paradise, but I am sure you will come to appreciate it. Wonderful. So they are slowly starting to listen. That's convenient. I must leave you. Goodbye. May the enlightened always keep you in their divine blessing. Right. May Satan have you as well. So we can go to here and learn about the story of Eden. Or speak with the peoples here. There's quite a lot of them, apparently. I can't jump down. Honestly, the village does look incredibly advanced. Considering that this looks like something that was built by us, but this house here 
seems to have been built by them. It's just kind of weird. I guess that's how we cooperate with each other. Hello there. You have returned on all Manawi. Do you need something else? Well, let's ask about Eden. I have heard a lot of things about this village of Eden, but I'd like to hear your version. Hmm. I'm not sure Roy have the answers to all of your questions, but I'll try. Tell me about the arrival of the people of Teleme and how you received them. The priests were roaming around the village. They were saying that it was the place where their saint had lived. They were asking questions, talking about the Lloyd and all these things. One morning they were building houses next to ours. And we had new neighbors. The priests told me that they had managed to convert you. How did that happen? As long as we refused to listen to them, they were violent, and they destroyed some of our sanctuaries. So we let them talk. And now that they think that we love their god, they leave us alone. Some of the things they say are beautiful, and their magic is impressive. But we do not forget our spirits. One of the theologians told me that you had helped them in their research. They wanted to find tracks of the old sage, of the one they call Saint Matthäus, and they were rummaging through everything. Our Donegad did not want to tell them anything, because the old sage is sacred here. But since they violently interrogated everyone, I thought it wise to guide them to the place where the stones were. What happened to your warriors? Why did they have to leave the village? They did not accept the presence of the priests and their questions. They tried to retake the village. They even asked Derdra, the chief of Vedlug, for her help. So, the priests called this soul Lassa, the Burning Sons, and they killed many of them. Oi asked for peace. And the others left us. They wanted to join Vedlug. Perhaps they have done so. Aren't you angry after all that happened? No. I mourn those who died, of course. And the Vorstirent. But this village may be our opportunity. Your opportunity for what? For the Renaixe to understand who we are. Not savages, nor monsters, but men, perhaps wiser than they are. Yes, they will never accept you as wiser than them. I have to go. Like so many others. Sure. <laughs> Broken old fool. Clinging to past glory. Not understanding how times have changed. Yet, I think we can civilize those savages. Let them remember those gods of theirs. Just make sure they don't stand in our way, okay? We have two more people we need to speak with. I believe one of them is here and the other one is up there. I can be mistaken, no, both of them are actually here. Oh, how wonderful, yes, you can actually climb from there, that's, that's cool. Okay, I'm glad that this building has a door, I'm just kind of curious. Why is it here? Maybe if that pile of wood wasn't there, that would have been a little bit easier to enter, but whatever. It just looks kind of weird. 
Okay, let's talk to you next. I am busy. If you have questions, go see Sister Eugenia. She's our supervisor. Hello. The Mother Cardinal asked me to help you find the tablets that were stolen. Can I ask you some questions? Of course. But hurry, I have a lot to do. Ah, yes. Too important for your own tablets. I talked to Father Justinius. He told me that you were supervising the theologians here. Indeed. It is under my supervision that the research on St. Matthias is conducted. Whom do you suspect of being the thief? Oh, alas. I'm afraid there are many suspects. These tablets are priceless relics. Some settlers may have fallen prey to the lure of profit. The heretical natives of Vedlug may have wanted to take them away from us. Or it could have been vengeance by those who had to leave the village. Where were the tablets the night they were stolen? We were keeping them in one of the village's shacks. We intended to bring them to San Mateus later. But first, we wanted to examine them in order to obtain as much information as possible. You can go and take a look in the shack if you want to. But I couldn't find any traces of forced entry. I imagine that someone was keeping watch over them. Of course, we took turns guarding the shack. But some of us can't have taken the task that seriously. If I remember correctly, it was Brother Virgil who was guarding them that night. Well, thank you for these pieces of information. I am the one who should be thanking you. Especially if you manage to retrieve the tablets for us. The Mother Cardinal told me that this village has been developed on the basis of St. Lucius's writings. Are you one of the theologians who helped in its creation? Yes. I was sent here to confirm that this place is indeed the one described in the writings, and then I stayed. What was the reaction of the natives when you arrived here? Most of them were not in favor of us living amongst them. They were afraid we might chase them out of their own village. And there were even more protests once we started talking about searching for traces of Saint Matthias. I suppose they thought we would destroy all of their raised stones and other places of superstition. Were there any confrontations with the natives? Yes. The warriors of the village attacked us. The Ordo Luminous actually had to intervene. The Inquisition managed to make them run away. The islanders tried to attack again with the support of Vedlug, but we stood our ground. And when Lur, the chief of the village finally accepted our presence. Things calmed down. Thank you. This information will certainly prove to be useful. <laughs> I don't think so, but whatever. Thank you. I will let you work. And finally, let's talk to you again. Greetings. Desade. I'm handling the investigation into the theft of the tablets. Sister Eugenia told me to talk to you. I'm Brother Virgil. What would you like to know? Okay, let's talk about the arrival in Eden first. Have you been in Eden for a long time? Two months, approximately. Back then, there were still some pagan natives in the village. I joined Sister Eugenia's team with some of my colleagues, so we could give them a fresh outlook on things. We arrived straight from Teleme, hoping to study some new texts. But once we were here, I understood that my real mission was with the islanders. We must bring the light to this island. Okay, let's ask him about this mission with the natives. You talked about a mission with the natives. What did you mean by that? I may be under the command of Sister Eugenia here, but my superior is Bishop Domitius. Our mission is to banish pagan cults and convert the entire population to the light. The island belongs to Saint Matthias, and therefore to Teleme, since the God of Light offered it to our founder. If your superior is Domitius, you are a member of the Ordo Luminis. I did not expect to find one of its members side by side with the missionaries. They usually do not get along. The Order goes everywhere the light needs to be revealed. You have a very unique way of seeing things. I doubt everyone accepts it. Well then, let's ask him his relations with the natives then. And before that, 
Seriously? Do you convert them by jumping on them and choking them and say submit to our fate until they die? That's what you're... Well, I think he's a Grand Inquisitor, but I'm not sure, honestly. How are your relations with the natives? When I arrived, we were still trying to obtain information from them about Saint Matthias. But they were very reluctant to give us any answers. We were also trying to educate them. Our attempts eventually made some of the inhabitants of the village react badly. Most stubborn against our teachings, the warriors and the marked. The ones the natives call the Onomanawi. They eventually left, and it has proved nothing but a blessing for us. I would like to go back to work now, if you don't mind. Of course. The Onomanawi. Let's talk to him about the stolen tablets next. According to your colleague, you were the one in charge of guarding the tablets on the night of the theft. Is that right? Indeed. What can you tell me about that night? Did you hear or see anything? No, nothing in particular. The night was quiet, and then the morning after, we saw they were gone. Someone had to enter the shack to steal the tablets. How did that happen? I have no idea. The door was closed in the morning, and the lock was intact. That's kind of interesting. Do you suspect anyone in particular? Not really. What I can tell you for sure is it is not one of us. Well, Sister Eugenia did tell me that the tablets were priceless. Of course. But our motivation is not the lure of profit. All that matters to us is their value as proof, not the money we could make out of them. And that's surprising. When you ask an Inquisitor, do you suspect someone, he's about to say it's the heretics, otherwise he is not devoted enough to his cause. Do you think the culprit could be a native? Well, since none of us did it, it seems obvious. There aren't many other settlers around here. And the natives knew of the existence of these tablets before we found them. They were attached to them too, in their own way. They are the ones who led you to them. Well, we conducted the research, but they helped us find where they were hidden. Some inhabitants of the village are still giving us a hand with our work. Well, thank you. I will investigate where the theft took place. As you wish. But you won't find anything there. And why does it matter anyway? There were witnesses to the discovery of these tablets. We have all the proof we need. And that's all that matters. What do you mean? Now we can prove Saint Matthias lived here. Our actions on this island are justified. To keep rummaging the way Sister Eugenia does will only create more tensions with the natives. <laughs> I was not expecting a theologian to say such things. Again, especially an inquisitor. I will leave you to your work. Goodbye. I knew that the story would be more complex than we'd been told. I find it regrettable that my colleagues aren't more honest when it comes to history. Nothing solid has ever been built on lies. Either way, the resentment here is strong enough for a theft to occur. Maybe it is. So do we need to enter this place and speak with someone inside? Oh, right, this is where it took place. Hmm. There's only one entrance, and the door shows no evidence of a break in. Brother Virgil can't have cared less about these relics. He must have fallen asleep on duty. And then, someone must have just stolen the keys from him. It's very likely that that's what happened. But someone must have informed them. It can't be a coincidence that they decided to steal it during the watch of the only neglectful guard. So. We have to find their accomplice, the one that informed them, and who must be in the village. We know that this theft could be an act of vengeance by the natives who were forced to leave here. They must still have allies in the village. Family or friends. We should go talk to the chief of the natives. He will certainly know who's close to the exiles, and enough about the researchers to inform them. Indeed. But before that, let's just take a look at the room. Nothing. Anyway, I am going to end this episode here, so 
Thank you all for joining me, and I'm gonna see you all next time. Goodbye.